What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. We're going to do a slightly different episode today. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather so need to cheer up. Please do excuse the wheezy voice by the way. Anyway, I've decided to film myself reading out some stupid Quora questions about sharks. Quora, god, I've read that word so many times in my head but never out loud. Quora. The internet is, and I imagine always will be, a very strange place, but thankfully there are lots of places you can go to ask questions. Normally one might go to Google or Reddit, but some choose to head to Quora. And some of the shit you read on that website is downright odd, so today we're going to read some of them out. Before I start, I just want to remind you guys this is a bit of a laugh, and although some of these questions may seem stupid, I don't believe there is such a thing as a stupid question, and I will always stand by that. You should always be curious about sharks and ask whatever questions you have about them. If you don't know, it's always better to ask. So while I'm going to have a laugh at some of these questions today, please don't take it too seriously. Never lose your curiosity about sharks. Right, okay, let's have a look at some of these. If a shark could speak, what would it say? <laughs> right, um, I'm not quite sure on this one. What would a shark say? I'd really appreciate if you guys could stop killing us. I like fish. Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Do sharks poop out of their mouths? <laughs> Please. I'm going to struggle with these if they're all like this. <laughs> no, no. Sharks do not poop out of their mouths. I wonder if this person is thinking of gastric aversion where some shark species can temporarily eject their stomachs inside out. It's kind of like emptying your trouser pockets. So any indigestible materials that are in there are just ejected out into the ocean. But no, no, they don't poo out of their mouths. <laughs> They do poo out of their cloacal opening if anyone was wondering where they actually do that from. Right, next. <laughs> do sharks breathe water? <laughs> I mean, they'd be pretty terrible fish if they didn't. <laughs> this thing is living in the sea and definitely has gills, so yes, they do breathe water. Well, they extract oxygen from the water that's passing over their gills. Which would win, a shark or a bear? <laughs> Well, that totally depends on just where they're fighting, right? Land or sea. Bear wins on the land and the shark wins in the sea. There we go. Solved it. What would happen if a shark swallows a person alive? Can a human fit down a shark throat hole? I mean, maybe? But if you're at the stage of going down a shark throat, I imagine you've probably already come into contact with the pointy end of the shark, aka the teeth. And those teeth are gonna shred you up pretty good, so no, you're not ending up down a shark's throat hole. Let's presume you did though, for the sake of this Quora question, what would happen in the stomach? You would be dissolved. The end. Can a shark talk? This is like the what would a shark say question. I wish sharks could talk though, it'd be great. And it would make my job so much easier. I know sharks are toxic, but if you get attacked by a shark, can you bite a shark on their snout? And would it be enough to make a shark leave? <laughs> bite a shark on their snout. <laughs> I'm just imagining this whole situation going down now where someone is desperately trying to bite on the nose of a shark while it's just chowing down on them. This is ridiculous. I can't. I can't do this. Please don't try and bite sharks on the nose, guys. It's not going to end well for you. <laughs> is a basking shark the same as Megalodon? <laughs> no, no. These are two very different sharks. Megalodon is extinct, whereas basking sharks are very much alive. And basking sharks are completely harmless filter feeders, of course. Do you reckon these guys look the same? I'm not sure. <laughs> Would a mermaid get eaten if she swam with sharks? <laughs> what? A mermaid? Am I gonna have to point out here that mermaids are most definitely not real? Do I need to point that out? But for the sake of the core of question, if a mermaid was real, considering she has a fish tail, I'd say she'd probably be at risk. Mako sharks are definitely gonna have a good go at taking a bite out of that tail. How much do sharks earn in India? <laughs> what is this person? thinking is going on in India. Sharks are just chilling out in offices, sitting at their desks, tapping away at their computers with their fins. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how much a shark is earning in India. I don't really think sharks are working members of human society, to be honest. <laughs> Romera is doing what on shark? <laughs> Romera is what? That's just an unfortunate spelling mistake there. They're clearly referring to remoras, which are those fish that kind of stick themselves to the undersides of sharks. Remoras are the freeloaders of the marine world attaching themselves to sharks and other larger organisms in the hope they might get food scraps and also protection from other predators. So yeah, that's what they're doing on the sharks. What do sad sharks do? Where do sad sharks go? Oh no, this is quite a depressing one actually. 
Do sharks get sad? I guess if they had their fins chopped off, they'd be pretty sad. And if that's happened, then they sink to the bottom of the ocean. So I guess that's where sad sharks go. <laughs> the bottom of the ocean. What do you get when you cross a parrot with a shark? This sounds like it could just be the start of a really bad joke. I'm not sure what you get, to be honest. Whatever the offspring of that thing is, is gonna be a vile creature. <laughs> oh, look, someone, though, on the internet has actually combined these two animals. Is this in a game? <laughs> Friendly fishermen may be able to befriend parrot sharks. They sound quite nice, after all. <laughs> what do sharks look like? Is this really a question? They've taken the time to go onto Quora, sign up to an account, write out the question and post it, in which time they could have just gone to Google Images and Googled, what does a shark look like and got the answer to their question. <laughs> Why has this happened? What if a shark decides to eat you? <laughs> okay, I'm not really, I'm not really sure here. I think if a shark has decided to eat you, especially a large predatory shark, then you'll be dead. <laughs> so yeah. You die. Where will I find sharks? The ocean, maybe? An estuarine river habitat? Water? <laughs> God, this is hurting my chest. Generally, those are the places that sharks like to hang out. So yeah, that's where you're gonna find them. What would a hungry great white shark do to Donald Trump? <laughs> this is great. This is great. What would a hungry great white shark do to Donald Trump? I mean, if it was pretty hungry and desperate, probably eat him. He does hate sharks, supposedly. I'm not a big fan of sharks either. So yeah, he probably deserves it. What do great white sharks do for fun? Probably eat Donald Trump. <laughs> I'm so wheezy, this is horrendous. Why is the whale shark considered a mammal? Well, it's, it's just not, it's not a mammal. A whale shark is a shark and a shark is a fish. So yeah, not a mammal. It does have whale in the name, I suppose, so I can see the confusion there, maybe. What do sharks think when they see an aeroplane? What? I don't even know how to answer this. I don't really think sharks notice aeroplanes, especially the ones that are like way up in the sky. <laughs> this is great. Do sharks sometimes have staring contests when bored? <laughs> Please, no. They'd probably be really good at staring contests as well. Almost as good as non-blinking Chris in season one of Shark Bites. Do sharks lose their fins when they grow up? <laughs> what? W why? How is this a question? <laughs> How many pictures has this person seen of sharks who have lost their fins and just thought this is them naturally losing them as they got older? <laughs> no, sharks don't lose their fins when they grow up. They'd literally just die. <laughs> if a shark had human teeth, could it bite someone's leg off just as easily? Why are people sat thinking these questions? Is this person high? They've got to be high to think of a question like this. I mean, they might be able to still do a bit of damage with human teeth. Their bite force is absolutely wild, but I don't know how I'm supposed to answer that question. <laughs> What is the chance of a shark appearing in my pool? <laughs> zero, literally zero chance. I suppose, unless you actively put one in there where it would die pretty quickly. Sharknado isn't real, guys. Let's just remind ourselves of that for a second. Sharks don't wanna be in your backyard swimming pool. Which is more powerful, a dragon or a great white shark? Well, considering a dragon is a mythological creature, I'm going with great white shark. Is it true that... <laughs> What? No, this isn't real. Is it true that sharks don't like custard? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I just, I just don't know what to say here. Yes, no, maybe. I don't think anyone's ever looked into the fact that sharks may or may not like custard. But what do I know? How do you safely ride a stingray? Please, God, do not ride stingrays, guys. <laughs> Please, there is no safe way to ride a stingray. That thing will literally barb the shit out of you. <laughs> Riding a stingray. Why does this person want to ride a stingray? <laughs> if swimming from British Beach, would you need to take precautions against sharks? Why? <laughs> precautions. Nah, you're all good on British beaches. Totally safe. No precautions needed. <laughs> How do you pretend to be an aquatic plant? No. <laughs> surely, surely not. How do you pretend to be an aquatic plant when a shark sees you? I can't, I honestly can't deal with some of these. <laughs> I'm dying here. Why are you trying to pretend to be an aquatic plant? Why are you doing this? Humans cannot pretend to be aquatic plants. I can't help you guys anymore with this one. Why do sharks worldwide kill one person per year when one human kills 10 chickens every year? 
stop this, please. <laughs> I don't know how much more I can take. One human kills 10 chickens? <laughs> God, I can't do this. What if humans killing chickens got anything to do with shark attacks? <laughs> These can't get any worse than this. Surely they cannot get any worse than this. Is it true that sharks only attack you if you're wet? <laughs> this can't be real. It can't be real. If you're wet, then you're probably in the water. So yes, you might get attacked by a shark. I think this person has taken someone's joke very, very literally. <laughs> Did sharks originally come from Venus? <laughs> no. Did sharks originally come from Venus when it still had water and got transported to Earth via asteroids? I can't. My chest is killing me. <laughs> Make it stop. No, no, that's it. I've had enough. I can't do it anymore. I'm done. I'm totally done. Sharks coming from asteroids. This isn't real. This can't be real. Someone's made this up. It's not a real question. Right, that's it. I can't do it anymore. These are totally sending me sideways. My chest is hurting. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please, please do give it a like and let me know in the comments if you want me to do more of them. Maybe Reddit next time. Reddit's definitely going to be a place that has some stupid questions about sharks. So let me know in the comments. I'm still thinking about the 10 chickens one. I can't. I can't. Before you head off though, guys, if you enjoyed this ridiculous Shark Bites episode, then you might want to check out this one right here. In it, I read some mean comments that I've got right here on Shark Bites. Some people get very, very grumpy with me every now and again. So if you want to watch me reading out some of those mean comments, then click this video right here. I need some water. <laughs>